Okay, um, can the Winnipeg Jets win the Stanley Cup? Um, I believe we have a good chance. I am a fan, and I may be over here in the UK, and I'm not able to to go to see them play, which is you know frustrating. But I do believe we can. We're having players like Blake Wheeler are, are really showing actually how underrated they have been for so many years. Blake Wheeler's having a career. Yeah, Patrick Laine is still picking up. He's he's, he's going to score more goals than last year. He will. Um, the rate he's going, he will score more goals than last year, and he hasn't been injured this season, fully fit the entire time. And uh, he's going under the radar as well. People say he's no good at five on five. A lot of his goals have been on five on five play. Um, everyone in the, especially the Canadian media, talk about Austin Matthews and the Toronto Maple Leafs, and then they go on about Montreal having a bad year, and they keep talking about polar opposites. They're going on about Ottawa and Eric Carlson. They're forgetting about the other Canadian teams, especially the other Canadian team that's currently in the playoff place. Winnipeg. Um, we're second in the Central Division, we're third in the Pacific Conference. Um, we're doing good. I'm, I'm happy with where the team is at. And even if we only win one or two playoff series or get through the second round and lose in the second round, I'll be happy with that because of you know where we come from. We weren't expected to be this good this year. We weren't expected to to get in the top three in the division, let alone wildcard places. Um, so I'm really happy with that. Really happy with that. I'm really happy with with where the team is right now. We've picked up Stasny and Morrow. Morrow's a depth defenseman, um, so he can be used to rotate the, the bottom pairing, uh, maybe third and fourth pair. Uh, pair. Um, it gives solidity and depth in the blue line, which with Trooper injured, that's, that's sort of what we need right now. Um, going forward, you just need extra bodies. You need depth to win, to win in the playoffs. And Paul Stasny is an epic pickup. We lost no one off our roster to pick these two guys up. This is what's insane. Um, of course, Stasny has to score on debut, doesn't he, um, against Nashville. What was St. Louis thinking? Not only have Dallas given traded a defenseman to a division rival, so have St. Louis. They, tr- they traded a forward. Both teams are on the outside of the playoffs looking in. and They need depth. And they went, yeah, have it. We didn't have to give up much to get get pieces back. We we did well in that trade deadline. So everyone's saying Sheldon Elf, get rid of him as GM. He's useless. He's too conservative. He doesn't do anything. He did something, and it's working. Um, give it a few more days. Let them bed into the team for the final twenty or game push to the run in. Um, we had a good run in last year, so we carried on that run in form into this year. Hellebuck's having a a great season, a proper rebound. Everyone thought he was useless. Hutchinson's come back in as backup. Mason, what, what's happened to Steve Mason? Um, he's been crap for us all year. Why did we sign him again? Oh, he had to be the starter. Um, if Hutchinson, who's going to be a failure at NHL, was nicking starts off him, that says to me Steve Mason's done as a goalie in the NHL. Um, so we've got two younger goalies doing good stuff, especially Hellebuck. He's having a career year. We've got Prospects in in the minors. We've got a depth roster now. By picking up Stasny and Morrow, that actually tips us over um, being in the playoffs to contending for the Stanley Cup. Um, yeah, we are an outside bet. We're we're not the favourites. We're not we're not Pittsburgh. We're not Nashville. We're 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 an outsider looking in, and we have every chance. We're not we're not a Tampa. Tampa and Pittsburgh and, and Nashville and LA. All of them have got far greater chance because they've either done it before or they've been to the final before. We know we never want to play off it. So I'm quietly optimistic. But I think we can do it. I think we can win. And I think we'll surprise people. Even if we don't win the Stanley Cup, we can surprise people along the way. Because Lionel is having a, a very under the radar season. He's doing rather well and he's ghosting in. Blake Wheeler is leading as captain and is having a career year. Shifley's back from injury and he is a machine. He's a, he is a, a skill. He's an energy guy. He he is an all-round player. Dusty Bufflin is an animal. And when Tyler Myers starts scoring goals against you, you know your team's pretty naff. Even the guys who aren't expected to do much are doing something. So the team has got a positive vibe right now and are in a positive place. So um, 
positivity and, and, and that can take a team away as well. Uh, the, the fan base are terrific. It's a positive franchise right now. That's why I think we can win. Of course, this is the first fan video I've actually really done about a team I support. Um, I don't normally do them, but in this case I will because it's getting close now. In uh, about a month's time, the playoffs, month and a half time, the playoffs start. And I honestly think the Winnipeg Jets can win. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, place your comments below, and I'll have some more videos for you soon.